you doing there, baby? What you got? You like your grass? We literally have to give him this. And instead of an $800 vet bill for a cat that has stomach issues, you have to go find them the finest blade where it's soft because first the husband come in with grass that looked like wild onion. He ate it. It was not wild onion. That probably would have messed him up. Then there was another blade of grass that was harder and the edges, if I ran my fingers up it the wrong way, it would literally cut my flesh. But I just wet it and I do clean it. We don't put pesticides in his, in his uh, patch. And another little, hey baby, another thing you're fixing to witness is what I do, pardon me, I'm all in my kitchen, is for my, this is a Bengal Manx, that's Oscar Escar Cabot. This is Jojo Tiny Dancer. He was named after a stand-up uh, character um, for our beloved Richard Pryor. Rest in peace. So I have now, can you bear with me one second? I have now locked up the engine on my brawn. That thing, this thing right here lasted me 20 years and it just now locked up. This is my happy replacement. However, for my Manx cat, I have to, I have to kind of blend it. I'm just going to give him a little bit for the moment, and I'll show you what to do. Um, Oscar doesn't eat grass. Oscar, come here. Come on. Want some nip? And they know their words. Nip. Oscar, come here. You pain in the ass. I'm doing the video. Oscar, come here. Now what this is, and he may not be in the mood for it, but what this is, is a good quality catnip, and I grind it, and I wasn't done, I just wanted to make, and see this, he was born outside, so he has a lot of primal instinct, he is considered a chocolate lynx, a chocolate seal point lynx. This is not a tabby cat because tabby, stri tabby cat's stripes run this way. His goes like this, like Bengal stripes. His belly is light golden with the circles that he was born with. Now, what you want to do, especially because these cats are 10 and 12 years old, this is what I use. Pardon my mess. <laughs> All our money and bills. There you go. There's that. All right. So, holy shit, I'm glad I didn't spill that. Pardon my French. Um, as you can see, this is rough cut nip. I highly recommend it, even if your cat's little, because there's sticks in here. If you look close, there's a stick. It's just like, it's just like weed. And I can hear Oscar. He's done with primal because this makes. Oscar, it helps his stomach. He's a little bit cantankerous, so some real good catnip, and then I use silverdine and catnip powder. And somebody's over there tearing it up. This is the one I dropped. And uh, yeah, so these this is a good recipe, um, especially if your cat likes catnip. Where I live, we can't grow it; it's just too hot. And as you can see, even the Siamese who never really cared for it, it's okay, Jojo. They're all flighty because they're used to just us. So I have to step lightly. But let's see. So I named him Oscar Esquire Cabot. Cabot because he had the, the little Manx tail. You know, that's what they're known for. That cat has a history. If you're interested in Manx cats, uh, Look up Isle, I-S-L-E, of man, M-A-N-N. -N. 
this is where these cats originated from and I'm not going to touch him because I'll lose, I'll lose this frame but if I was to roll him over you can see the white of his belly and on his belly is spots and he's good in height you can see them a little bit but his fur he has a dense a dense coat looks like Jojo let's see looks like he enjoyed his grass he's high as a kite wished I was but I don't take edibles every day you get used to them he is sitting down he's the one that I'm worried about because he has such a poor appetite and I have to present food because when I feed him because as you know this is a chronic this is a person that is bedridden with chronic illness and disease. Here's my cat station. I had to throw away about $40 worth of food because he is so damn picky. So the grass works out pretty good. And I've got him the raised bowl and then I put a little one of these so he still doesn't have to sink his head in. So I lay there, pardon, there's a video I forgot about. So he'll start eating here. I got to stir it back up because he doesn't bite it. He licks it. So this is their dirty blanket. Keeps mine, my antique tapestry safe and clean. And I ain't laying in cat mar. But I have to chase him all over here and encourage him to eat. And this, this was a half a can. Okay. He only ate half. So he had went to a vet. We took them to the vet and what is that wet spot? We took him to the vet because I think he ate a mouse when we took in, when we inherited my mother-in-law's possessions. We had a mouse in the house and I think we had two actually. He either ate a lizard about four years ago. We took him to the vet. It was only $900 because it was a brand new facility. I guess they wanted us to make the mortgage that month, but luckily where I live is all green out in the country. Let's see how they interact when they're both on nip. Right now, JoJo's saying it's mine. I don't care for it. Okay, watch this. He's so grateful. Was that good, baby? Oh. I hope it makes you feel better. He's, uh, he's going on 11. Luckily, good job. Hey, luckily no gray hair on the face, just on the body. Um, his coat is shiny, but he seems to have topical dandruff. Apparently they've made me a mess. Oh, he really likes it. And if you add the silver dine, it really just enhances their high Oscar. And he too has no gray in his face. And he's 12. I rescued him from a woman that had him in the most atrocious environment. And uh, because he was a hybrid, as well as he was a hybrid in the Siamese race, but he is Manx cat, and he was mated. The father was a Bengal. And his first two years, it literally was like having a, uh, a one-pound Bengal tiger because he tore my ass up. Anybody with cats will tell you <laughs> if you got cats, oh well, don't want to be looking at all that. They will scratch you up. But anyway, um, just had to put a video out on my channel. Got to clean up all that. And I can't make loud noises because they both hate loud noise, but. I just leave it out and present it to them. Put something of mine nearby so they associate the feel good with their mummy. Because he's kind of like my grandpa, but the, uh, the Siamese, he has a lot. He still has a little bit of kitten fire, and um, he's still curious. He's very chill. I often refer to him as my emotional support animal. Sorry, that grass was a little damp. Because he's just, he never leaves my side. And it's kind of bizarre because there are times when I am deathly sick. And I've been crying and praying all day. And he just knows. Because he'll cuddle with me. But when I'm going through those episodes. And you don't know until you lose your health how rich you really are. Um, he seems to be aware. And he comes up and gets all up in my face. 
and then he tries to groom me. Oops, he tries to groom me to comfort me. So, yeah, that's that. Cat tail story. Peace. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I know these don't get seen by a lot, but if you are a cat mama or mama cat and you got babies that are quite content, and no, they don't eat that, that's bamboo, and they're quite content, consider yourself very, 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 very lucky. As for me, I got to go back and take care of the babies. God, I wish that was some good old weed from the 70s. Peace out. Thanks for stopping by.